Welcome back to the Extra Factor. I am now joined by your judges, everyone. And judges, may I just say congratulations on number one in the charts this week and to the contestants. Now, as always, many people have been uh, ringing in, Skyping in and all sorts. We've got a very opinionated British public out there. So uh, let's kick off. And first up, we're going to Joey, who has a call for you, Simon, and he's in Manchester. Hello, Joey. Oh, hello, Joey. Good evening. Wow, Joey is naked. This is an extra factor first, I believe. Oh, I'm my first ever naked caller. Do you understand why I can't take this call seriously? <laughs> So we've got Louise, who's in the studio, a member of our audience. How exciting. Uh, a question for Louise. Hello, Louise. Hello, judges. Hello. Hi. Hi. Um, Wagner is the essence of the competition. Um, don't you think it's going to be boring now that he's gone? Yeah. Oh, I see, I see. <laughs> Who's this for? Is this for me? It's for you, Louis. I mean, yeah, I mean, he brought something different to the competition, as did Jedward last year. They're the talking point. Some people like them, some people don't like them, but you know, Obviously, some people like him and voted for him. Yeah. He was a brilliant artist to work with. Shut up, you. He was a brilliant artist to work with. And you know, he brought something different to the competition. And you're never going to please everybody anyway. Louis. Okay. Are you going to continue to work with Wagner now that he's out of the Well, no, everybody signed with modest management. And they're all, well, they're all on the X Factor tour. Connie, by the way, your hair's getting bigger. Okay. It's getting bigger every are you, week. Are you changing? You look like Penelope Cruz. Oh, Louis and his comparison. Yeah, you remind me of. Oh, I'll have food. that one. Thank you very much. Um, so, so he's got a big future, partner? Look, you know, lots of people know who he is now. He, he got a shot. Uh, I think it's right that people like that are on the competition. What I said tonight on the show is, is that it, it can't end up the end of the show as a joke. Right. You know, and at the end of the day, these contestants, the people who are in the semi-final, enter this show because they need a break. It's not about us, it's about them. Yeah. Did our judges make the right decision? Thank you very much. Simon. Uh, I understand. Is there any chance of a record contract? Sing. Oh, look at that. He knows about PR. Give us the line, quick. Yes. No, you're too late uh, now. Uh, Never mind. forward slash Dominic. Yeah, why, why, don't you, why don't you sing something now? Dominic, sing. <laughs> uh, you know what? <laughs> if, if you check out my music. Oh, no, if you can't do it on the telly. Thank you, guys, anyway. Um, <laughs> and we're going to go on to another call of you, Cheryl. This is Rebecca, who's in Gloucestershire. Hi, Rebecca. Hi, Cheryl. Hello. Hi. Hi. I want to know, how does it feel from going from being the most popular judge on previous series of X Factor to getting it so wrong this year? First thing, Sammy, when we're seeing so good to go. I can't hear her. Yeah, get, I can't hear her. One sec. One sec. Get, getting what wrong. I had three girls left with the semi final next week. I think no? Many would say the most successful judge this year. Many would say the most successful. Um, are you still there on the line? Hello, yeah. Yeah. What have you got to say to that? That was a good response. Sorry? What have you got to say to that? That was a good response, wasn't it? Cheryl's come back. Yes, yeah, it was. I mean, I think, I think the main problem is that Cheryl went down a lot of people's estimations last week with the rudeness to Wagner. <laughs> Thing. And it's all about Hang opinions, on. What's isn't this girl's it? Name? Rebecca. Uh, Rebecca. Rebecca, with respect, uh, she read an article where he he was rude about where she was from. He called her a chav. What do you expect her to say? I think that it could have been addressed in private, not on live TV. Because that would be my comment on it. What would be your comment? That it should have been addressed in private, not on live TV what? in front of you know an audience. Well, I, I actually could say the same to you tonight with what you've just said. <laughs> good point, a good a point, letter. a good point. Mr. Wagner should have stayed. Goodbye. Oh. Oh. And she's gone. Oh. Well, you never I really like Mary, but when you look around at the other contestants like Matt and, and One Direction, do you really think she would be um, a winner contestant? Yeah, well, you know, the public, we say it every week, but the public are in charge on this show. The public vote for who they like most. And the, the best person's going to win the show. You know, and Mary's in the semi-finals. I'm very happy. I'm glad I saved her tonight. But, I mean, That's we've true. got five great people Simon up on the show. Simon thinks he's the boss, but really it's the public, yeah, but isn't it? Yeah, what's your opinion? Of what? Of, of 
Mary being a winner. I loved her tonight on the sing-off. She was incredible. Yes. Oh, when yeah. she's good, she's brilliant. Answer the question. Yeah, I think she's fantastic. Answer the question. And I think she can sell an awful lot of records. Yes. I really do. you do. think she'll win? Simon's yes. saying hey, the question. It's up to the public. If the public votes no, for her, she's going to win. No, she's asking you a question, Lee. Do you yes, think? Yes, I think she can you. win. Absolutely, yeah. Simon, do you think Mary could win? Uh, Look, if you're in the bottom two, I, you know, it's not a great place to be before the semis. But you know what? On this show, I'm not going to make it. Yeah, Simon, excuse me, excuse me. JLS were in the bottom two <laughs> one year. And look at them now. They're selling out arenas and they're one of the biggest pop and bands in the UK. And they're you know? So, Simon, good point, Louis? No. No. Good. Simon, Louis, does he ever have a good point? No. no. Yes, I do. <laughs> Carly, the thing is, nobody's safe in the competition and the best people are going to win in the end, anyway. On that note, it's very lovely Lee put, if that makes sense. No. Thank you, judges! <laughs> oh, I don't know. It's time now for yet another break, but please do stay with us and keep those comments coming in because straight after the advert, we're going to be continuing with the debate. We've got Alan Fletcher, a.k.a. Dr. Carl Kennedy. Wow, he's Carl. Justin Bieber, Nicole Scherzinger, Edith Bowman and David Hassel.